Okay, today I am going to make black bean burgers. I've got my can of black beans here, and we're going to start with this seasoned black beans. These are like 78 cents from Walmart. Okay, so I'm going to open that and I'm going to drain it. And let's see, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to pour these into my bowl, the whole can. Mm. Has anybody tried tostadas with <laughs> um, refried black beans? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna mash these up a little bit with my giant fork. Um, here we go. Just kind of mash them down a little bit. One of my um, daughters loves black bean burgers. So, let's get those mashed in there a bit. Okay. There we go. I know this would be much simpler if I had a potato masher, <laughs> which I don't, but... Um, it's on my list of things for father to get me. Okay. And we all know that the Lord gives us the desires of our heart when we delight in Him. And I delight in Him, definitely. Okay. See how that's mashed in there? Okay, now I'm going to set this aside, and let's see, start with my seasonings here. I've got my beef bouillon, so I'm going to stick a cube of that in here, into this bowl. And yes, I'm going to have to mash this up too. I'm just going to crumble it with my fingers. So it'll be easier. So I'll add two cubes. Okay, two cubes beef bouillon. Just crumble that in. Okay. And got some oregano here. About a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of oregano. Stick that in. Some onion powder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine shakes of that. I figure I'm going to make about nine black bean burgers, if not more. So that's about a tablespoon of onion powder. About a tablespoon chili powder, some turmeric here, just a couple shakes of that. It's about a half teaspoon of turmeric. Um, okay, I'm using chopped onion flakes. You can use real onions if you have them, just chop them up. I'll do about two tablespoons of chopped onions. There we go. Okay. Get my cumin here. And let's see. We'll do about nine shakes of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe a little more. Okay. Now you can adjust the seasonings any way you like. I'm going to put some garlic powder in. Okay, just about a little teaspoon of garlic powder. And let's see. Yes, I did not forget my black pepper. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight shakes of black pepper. Okay, now 
going to just kind of mix that up a little bit. Those seasonings. Kind of mash that bouillon. Now, if there are other seasonings, you can try them if you like. But this is for certain a wonderful um, seasoning mix. My pancake mix. Okay. Stick it out. Let's see. Probably about a cup of pancake mix. In with this. So we've got a cup of pancake mix. Okay. Stir that around. And now we need our water. So just enough water. Let's see. You know I don't usually use measurements, but I'm going to do it this time for you. Here's a cup of warm water. Start with the half first. Everything mixed in. Here we go. Okay. Mixing it. Oh gosh, you should smell this. Wonderful. Okay, so far I've put in about three fourths cups. Now, what I wanted to add to this is some steak sauce. Now, my mine is hardly, you know, it's pretty much empty. This is this is equivalent to A1 steak sauce. I'm going to add some water to this bottle and I'll be right back. Just a little bit of water. Just the tiniest bit. And then shake it up. Mm. <laughs> now you don't have to add steak sauce if you don't want to. Okay? But I, I do. So one, two. Probably about two shakes. So that's about like a, a tablespoon, either two teaspoons or one tablespoon. Okay. Now to this wonderful spicy mixture, and we know this pancake mix is like our glue, just like I showed you when I made those potato cakes with my shredded potatoes, if you remember. Okay. So now, to this, I am going to add um, some quick oats. It can be the old-fashioned kind, if you like. Okay, cup of quick oats. And then, to that... I have some leftover rice and let me get a spoon here and I am going to add some of my leftover rice to this this is about two cups of rice I will get maybe about a cup cup of that in there I'm going to Stir this around. Just getting that feel of it, you know. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. And now I am going to add that can of black beans this. Okay, just get that mixed in there real well. Wait till you try these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am going to serve this today with some homemade O'Brien 
hash browns using my leftover seasoned fries that I baked with some red and green bell peppers. Okay, so this is our mixture, everybody. This is our black bean burger mixture. Okay, I'm going to get my pan plugged in, get it nice and hot, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my pan on 400. I've, um, there's oil in it. Everybody asks what oil I use. It's just right now vegetable oil, the great value vegetable oil <laughs> for frying. So, um, would I prefer olive oil? Yes, but this is what we have, vegetable oil. Okay, so I'm going to start spooning on my mixture. Ooh, there we go. And just press it down. Use your spoon to just press that burger down. Okay, this is wonderful um, meat substitute. And you can, in case anybody doesn't know, you can also brown this up. Um, in recipes for, you know, like, for instance, if you wanted tacos, make your, my advice would be make the burger first, push that little bean in there, make your burger, and, um, once they're cooked, go ahead and crumble them up if you like for your tacos or whatever dish you want like spaghetti or something like that okay now these are pretty thick burgers here so um, depending on how you want it I usually like mine really small and thin but any way you want. Okay, get another one on here. Now you can serve these on hamburger buns or just on the the plate as I am going to do with my homemade O'Brien hash browns, which I will show you in a bit. Okay, just scoop that in there. Press down a little bit on your spoon. Okay. Oh gosh, these smell so wonderful. So good. Okay, so we've got six burgers frying right now. I'm just going to let that fry. Now, if I wanted them thinner, I could have, you know broken this down, made them a little thinner, and we'd have even more burgers. Okay, I'm just going to let that fry until I see it kind of browning through up on the side. Mmm, smells so good. Okay. I haven't turned it yet, but you can add a little bit of table salt if you like. You don't have to. Um, you can. <laughs> You can even add a bit of soy if you would like. Okay, soy is great for browning. All right, I am going to turn this burger. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, praise Jesus. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this recipe, it's from the Lord. <laughs> so if you want to try some scrumptious black bean burgers, um, inspired by Jesus, this is your recipe. Okay? Mmm. And with the prices of meat now, and everything else going up in the grocery store or if you're just you know you you're a vegetarian there's no egg in this no meat 
just scrumptious. Listen, just pressing my, pressing down a little bit, not a lot. Scrumptious black bean burgers. They're so awesome. So awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now, I didn't make my um, Navajo bread, fry bread this morning, but if I had, this would be perfect for, um, you know, a black bean burger wrapped inside that Navajo fry bread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cooking these, then I'm going to show you how I make my... Um, seasoned O'Brien fries hash browns to go along with this so I'll be back in a few moments okay these are about done now so I'm going to take them out place them right on my serving tray Ooh. okay Amen. There we go. And one more. Okay. Now, there's some extra here. See? This would be the, the point when they're done. If you wanted to, say, make a meat dish with spaghetti or something, you would crumble it up and it would just like that. It looks like ground beef or ground turkey or whatever. But we know better, right? We know what it is. Okay. Just going to get that out of there. Set it right here. That's what it would look like. And you'd be able to make your spaghetti or your tacos if you ground it up as soon as it's done. Now I'm going to add, make the rest of my burgers really quick here. Okay. Get that on the pan. Mash it down a little. Okay. Don't worry about the shape. Okay. Just, I mean, you can use your spoon to try to shape it a bit. There you go. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can add a little more oil if you need to. And I will. Just a tiny little drizzles. Now, this nine black bean burgers, remember, what did we use? We used our spices. A cup of pancake mix, complete pancake mix, because that's our glue. A cup of oats, quick oats, a cup of cooked rice, and one tin of seasoned black beans mashed up. And there you have it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this is cooking. I am going to get um, my potatoes ready to fry my O'Brien's. Okay, I'm going to add a little more oil to the side of the pan. And I have got pepper and onion blend, red peppers, green bell peppers, some onion in there. I'm going to utilize the other side of my pan right here get some of these peppers on there. Okay. And while that's going, I've got my seasoned fries leftovers, and I am going to chop these up to cook with that. There's not a lot of room here, so I'm kind of like squeezed in. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are ready cooked. I had these left over from last night. 
I put some seasoned fries in the oven. And there we go. No need to waste fries, but a leftover because they can be used in another recipe. Okay, just using my knife, chop them up a bit here. They're ready cooked. And I'm just going to stick them in. Okay. Get these peppers going in there. There. These are the last of our bean, black bean burgers here. Flipping them over. Okay. There we go. I've got these huge peppers here. I'll just get my scissors and cut them while they're frying. Okay, because this is going to be our O'Brien's. That's what I love about this pan. It's so big. I can cook a few different things at the same time. Okay. So. There we go. Get it going. Okay. Now, on top of that, just like a lid, I'm going to Stick my seasoned leftover fries on top, kind of scoot it around, okay, and I won't turn it right now because these, they're acting like a lid on top of the frozen peppers and onions. So I'm just going to press down on my black bean burgers. So again, this is like the ultimate, um, <laughs> you know, vegetarian breakfast. There's no eggs here, no meat. Um, it's so simple. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me the recipe. Okay. Now remember, this is the Lord's recipe. This is what he gave me and told me to make today for many of you. And I know you will be blessed. And um, just as I am blessed. <laughs> so, all right, now look. I'm mixing this up. I'm frying up my homemade O'Brien's. Remember those seasoned fries were already done. Now look, I have a little bit of extra black bean here in the corner. I could stir that in, but do you see what I'm saying? You, this would be excellent for um, spaghetti or pizza or any kind of dish that you'd want to make requiring meat, you know, or just something hearty and wonderful. I'm just going to put this here and nibble on that <laughs> while I fry these, get these O'Briens going. Oh yes, peppers are done. Everything's seasoned and done. Spread it out. Awesome. Just going to give that a minute there. Okay, those are done. I'm going to turn off my pan. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This dial gets so hot. Scoop up these O'Briens, these homemade O'Briens. Stick them right here. There we go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Look, wonderful O'Brien. Mm, mm, mm. Just get it all there on my platter. Red peppers, bell peppers, onions, 
those leftover seasoned fries. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my lord. Praise Jesus. I know that you all would enjoy these wonderful black bean burgers um, on the plate, on the bun, any way you want it. Okay, so this wonderful recipe made nine black bean burgers. I just wanted to show you. Oh my gosh. Look, everybody. Mmm. And it totally has the consistency of um, <laughs> a burger, right? I have to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my gosh. Praise the Lord. This is the recipe he wanted me to give you. God bless you. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video.